As Airbus focuses on the new gen of commercial air travel with a focus on the likes of hydrogen powered aircraft and more, will a prospective A322 ever get a formal release? Be sure to subscribe to Globetrotting if you haven't already, your support would be greatly appreciated. First of all, the aircraft itself. While the A322 it remains a conceptual aircraft, it actually emerged firstly as part of considerations and studies undertaken by the European plane maker to basically evolve the A320 program with a key focus on innovation. The aircraft was also viewed as a type that could successfully expand that aforementioned family, which has continued to be a shining light for the plane maker, certainly through now to the A321 series. Airbus's A321 program has recently become the plane maker's best selling program. The additional capacity and at times range or specific models have enormous benefits for airlines that choose to bring this jet on. Envisaged, however, as a stretched on that 320 the A322 aimed to not only offer increased passenger capacity, but also substantial performance increases for airlines that would adopt the said plane. I know I often use the word significant, substantial, really got to expand my vocabulary, but in this case, I do truly mean substantial performance upgrades. Discussions around a proposed A322 actually gained some traction in the late 2010s and even into the early 2020s, despite the pandemic coming to fruition. As Air bus at this point was exploring options to meet market demands and a focus on the new era of travel that would align with sustainability goals that had become so prevalent. Analysts speculated that the A322 analysts speculated that the A322 could feature a fuselage extension that would accommodate up to four additional rows of seating. This would allow for approximately 24 passengers at maximum. However, the actual specific passenger capacity increase would always vary depending on how how airlines would use the stretched fuselage to their advantage. They could look for a base economy seating, definitely would be visible with some prospective operators, or there may be some that would say, look at the additional fuselage space as a means to include a premium configuration towards the front of the aircraft. This, however, would position the aircraft around 50 meters, making it certainly a successor to maybe some of your larger 757 variants. Arguably one of the most considerable talking points, however, for the a322 and why I did say that it would offer substantial performance upgrades was the proposed more radical innovations that would make it so much more different from previous single aisle jets that we have seen. This would include totally new and redefined composite wings and advanced engine options with elements deemed crucial to really developing or upgrading any new airline. They believed that it would be crucial for the program's long term success. As of 2025, the A322 remains an unreleased concept and while initial studies indicated potential, Airbus has not announced any concrete plans to proceed with its development at this stage and remains focused on several programs to help define the future of commercial aircraft. The last significant discussions about the A322 occurred in the early 2020s, focusing on its feasibility and market viability. And since then, while the program has not advanced, an Airbus has simply diverted its resources to a wide array of other programs equally focused on the future but also addressing the present. Because the A322 wasn't a typical stretch, given that Airbus were eyeing up things such as new engines and a new wing structure, which is only now really being studied in the infant stages. And don't forget that Airbus's hydrogen-powered plane has just been delayed as well, showcasing that new technology is certainly developing, but it will not come overnight and certainly won't come without its challenges in the road. While at their very core, ideas such as what I'm discussing now can play a role in Airbus's long-term business, actually offering the ability to turn these ideas into a concrete product sooner rather than later was just deemed not feasible by the manufacturer or analysts in a more, say, short-term view. Therefore, a release is not slated for the near future at this stage. It doesn't mean, however, that an aircraft type and this general premise will not never be released, especially given the attention it has already gathered and how how pivotal a lot of these studies are going to be to our new commercial airliner that will arrive.
The A3, but why did the A322 attract so much attention? Well, it garnered interest when initial reports emerged, really driven by its increased capacity, extended range, and driven by the plane filling a niche between narrow body and wide body aircraft. However, the bold and ambitious incorporation of advanced technologies such as what I've touched on really garnered the most attention. These features did immediately suggest to us that if Airbus had proceeded with such an endeavor, the A322 would cater to a new market that would focus even more heavily on sustainability and efficiency than what is seen with the new engine option models, really looking to reduce elements such as emissions, serving routes across longer ranges with lesser costs associated than your wide-body jets. Certainly why we have seen aircraft like the XLR, which is what eventually Airbus would move ahead with, rise to fame. What is the future of this plane? Well, like I touched on, it is yet to officially materialize, but the ideas and innovations associated with it are going to continue to influence Airbus's direction now and in the future. It is why I love covering topics such as these. There are so many aircraft that could have, should have, maybe would have released. There are also equally some that were outlandish and probably were for the better to not have launched, but each study gives the manufacturer the idea and the building blocks to move on with its next commercial aircraft, and some of those ideas will be taken, some of them won't, but the journey is what is the most fascinating. The company's current initiatives really do reflect that it has a commitment to improving its overall technology applied to aircraft. It also knows it needs to meet the requirements not just of airlines, but also your respective governments. In the more immediate short term, while the rollout of the A321 XLR will act as a bridge for airlines, seeking to evolve their single aisle flying further and moreover, increases in production are also to be expected for other commercial aircraft. On the A322, well, Airbus will always keep its cards very much close to its chest. However, it is exploring both conventional and hydrogen-powered platforms for, say, the 2030s. Airbus really remains open to understanding how all of this progress will move forward and what eventual implementation will look like. As I touched on, we only had a couple of months ago firm confirmation that the overall process on hydrogen powered aircraft would slow down. We know that there is such a substantial amount of effort required to get this off the ground. You don't only require the best minds coming together to produce such a plane, but you require a hefty amount of investment. Even if the A322 does not come to fruition under that specific designation, the principles behind it are likely to be integral to Airbus's next gen of commercial aircraft. So, while the A322 yes does remain an unreleased concept as of 2025, exploring its potential has definitely influenced Airbus's approach to the future of aircraft development. And if anything, we did eventually get a development on that A320neo family visible through the XLR. That was able to get to market far quicker than what an A322 would have, and the XLR is a hit. It'll be a solution for airlines for a long time coming, but their next plane, well, that's really going to be the one we'll want to knuckle down and study on. Airbus will want to focus on increased capacity, sustainability, improved wing design, engines, and so much more. It knows it has to meet the requirements of airlines right around the world, and obviously has to have a competitive aircraft to compete with Boeing for decades to come. Let me know your thoughts. Does the A322 have a chance? And maybe if it's not in the designated code of the A322, do you see the ideas that were presented by Airbus through this study to be something that can be adopted on another commercial airliner for them? Or are they going to move straight to, say, hydrogen, which maybe is a little bit more unproven than your conventional composite wings and also improved just standard engines? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in a couple of days back here on Globetrotting.